Bob, you are uh, a veteran of uh, the performance world in entertainment as a circus performer and as a stuntman. And mm -hmm. I sit here today with you in your backyard. And as I look at Muscle Beach in Santa Monica, the original Muscle Beach, mm -hmm. then there's Muscle Beach Venice, you know, or, or the Venice location of the outdoor weightlifting pen that's now called Muscle Beach Venice. Yeah. How do you, how, you know, for me looking at Muscle Beach from the outside in, being more into bodybuilding and weightlifting, I don't see the, 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 the fine lines between the different performance aspects of circus, stunt, gymnastics, adagio. I see those things as a spectator, and I enjoy them. And I have done gymnastics in school just to experiment and experience that in, in physical education. But I don't have a real grasp of how you would differentiate gymnastics circus performing, stunt work, how do those lines, are they, are they all overlapping, are they all together, do they, do they intersect? How do, well, how do they, you... they, they'll sort of, hey, hey they, they sort of uh, work together, if you can do one, it helps you or do the other. Acrobatics is just doing like a daijo and uh, lifts and tumbling. And so bars. acrobatics encompasses all, yeah. all those, uh, but what? Yeah. What, is it, what would and, acrobatics and, uh, exclude? It, well, it's using your your, your body in all these different ways and you get, have control but then the um, in the uh, circus you're working with other people and like a teeterboard you hit one in somersault shoulders and everybody's working together and trapeze and you have to catch and you're, you're depending on somebody else too so you're Besides saying this yours. in acrobatics you may be doing something on your own but in circus yeah. performance you have to take your techniques and integrate them with Work other people with other people yes and okay. um, so one can mess up, and then the whole trick's out and gone. Right. But, um, of course, I always said when I was with the circus, or the tent shows and everything, I always describe a circus where you work all day, drive all night, and hope to break even at the end of the week. So then when I got to teach Circus of the Stars for 10 years, I really loved that. I taught all the aerial and acrobatic acts. Sure. And I did the catching and the trapeze act, too. But they made me wear a hairpiece so I wouldn't outshine the stars. So. <laughs> so different different aspects of being both yeah. uh, both an athlete and also being on, on the on the screen. Yeah. Okay. And um, so whenever we get a circus film or something, well, that was always like the big circus for Irwin Allen and my partner, Double Tony Curtis and Trapeze and Cornell Wilde and The Greatest Show on Earth, and, and we get all these circus films and everything. And that's fun. And well, you get paid good for it. And there's the reward for all the training you do. But let me ask you this, as a connection goes between what you do today, what you've done in stunt work and circus performances, and if we look back at Muscle Beach, mm -hmm. what came first, Muscle Beach or circus and stunt work for you? Well, it's Muscle Beach. When I was 11 years old, I wandered down there, wanted to play ping pong, and then Mo, the playground director, well, he said, wouldn't you rather do acrobatics? And I said, I don't know. He put me on the shoulders, and I was hooked. So they just started learning different types of acrobatics and stuff and I, I really loved it and they used to tell me hey, give up you're a, you're a real klutz you know who's they who would have been telling you other that other acrobats that are real good okay. and they were uh and i had to really work to learn anything and i was a klutz and but i enjoyed it and so, so your love overcame your limitations yeah i yeah. i learned then i was able to teach and the guys that did it natural couldn't really teach they just say do it but I had to take each little thing apart and then look at each person, how they do it. And you can't teach everybody the same way. Some, some of you have to teach a little different. And uh, so that was it. I was able to do it from being a class, I guess. There must have been mentors or somebody along the way then, too. Yeah, well, one was uh, Russ Saunders, but the greatest mentor, he was the greatest, and he specialized in high work. And, yeah. And uh, I mean the stunt work. That was uh, Jesus Christ who stood in for everybody up on the cross. Ah, oh, there you go. Okay, <laughs> so he's the, he's the greatest high high guy you can think of. Right. Okay. Yeah. So great. And so that's a testimony. Ironically, Russ Saunders gets to be a stand-in for Christ on the cross for artist Sa Salvador, Salvador Dali. Dali. Yes. yes. Yeah. Isn't that? And I saw the original. I was working in Glasgow, Scotland, at Kelvin Hall, Trapeze Act. Yeah. And uh, and it was 1967, and across the street was the museum. So I saw Salvador Dali's Christ on the Cross there, is yeah. hanging in there. So, the Christ that, of St. John, I think it's called. Yeah. The actual. Uh -huh. So for folks that might not know you, the reason you're talking about this is Russ Saunders was the model we did for it. Salvador Dali's Christ. Right. Your life today, how would it be different if you never went to Muscle Beach? Oh, I don't know. <laughs> I, don't, I can't imagine. I, 
I might have done something like using my mind for a living. I, I've never been accused of that. <laughs> Just my body. So. so you're an athlete professionally in a lifetime. Yeah. And loving it. And I got halfway through the ninth grade in Hamilton School. That's as far as I got. It was a, then running away with the circus was a different education. And then I come back to Hollywood and everything. When I settled here in 68, then I'm at the studios working all the time and I'm arguing with everybody all the time too. And you know what I found out? I was conservative. I so you weren't away. fitting into, a, into the Hollywood set? <laughs> no, I wasn't. Okay. So even so, after all these years of performing and being out there and what people might think is a wild living, you're saying you were keeping conservative values. Yeah, that's a uh, picked up in the circus. It was very conservative Jeez. values at this time. Now, but it was, uh, you'd be arguing with somebody in the act, but when you're driving over the town, if they're broke down, you stop, help them, get them in, they all help each other. Oh, you're saying so in the circus world, you guys looked out for each other, more so than Hollywood? Yes. Okay, okay. So, Bob Yurkus, Yurkus, as in circus, I want to thank you for the visit and just getting a little more insight from a Muscle Beach Denison, one of the originals, and, and hope to continue the conversation over the, over the future. Thanks for your yeah, time. Yeah, that'd be great. Appreciate okay. you. Come on down to Muscle Beach. I, I'd love to see you guys on a Sunday. Thank you. Yeah. Okay.